Everyone has heard of frostbite, but what is it exactly? Frostbite, very simply put, is frozen body tissue. It is most likely to affect body parts that are furthest away from the core of your body and therefore have less blood flow. These include your feet, toes, hands, fingers, nose, and ears. Frostbite is caused by prolonged exposure to cold temperatures, particularly if accompanied by a low wind chill or even brief exposure to very cold temperatures. Children, older adults, and those with circulatory problems are at greatest risk for frostbite, but most cases actually occur in adults between ages of 30 and 49. The varying degrees of frostbite are based on the depth of tissue injury, ranging from a very superficial area of the skin all the way down to the muscle and bone in the most severe cases. Frost nip is a mild form of frostbite in which your skin turns red and feels very cold, with prickling and numbness in the affected area. As your skin warms, you may feel pain and tingling. The second stage of frostbite appears as your skin continues to freeze and harden, but leaves the deep tissues unaffected. Your skin may begin to feel deceptively warm, a sign of serious skin involvement. A fluid-filled blister may appear 24 to 36 hours after rewarming the skin. Severe and deep frostbite are the third and fourth degrees of frostbite affecting all layers of the skin, including the tissues that lie below. You may experience deceptive numbness in which you lose all sensation of cold, pain, or discomfort. Joints or muscles may no longer work. Large blisters form 24 to 48 hours after rewarming. Afterward, the area turns black and hard as the tissue dies. To prevent frostbite, dress appropriately for the weather. Loosely layer your clothing with a light water repellent fabric as the top layer. Wear two pairs of socks if possible with a synthetic material closest to your skin. Remove wet clothing as soon as possible and stay active to keep your body temperature up. If you suspect you have frostbite, seek immediate emergency medical attention. If you cannot get to a hospital right away, begin the following first aid treatments. Cover the skin with clothing or blankets that are dry and warm. Do not rub the affected area, which could further damage the tissue. Do not thaw the frostbitten area if it's at risk for refreezing before you get to a healthcare provider. Skin that is thawed and then refrozen again can cause severe tissue damage. If possible, splint the affected area to prevent further injury. Immerse frozen areas in warm water for 20 to 30 minutes until all sensation returns. Do not use direct heat such as fire or a heating pad as the skin is numb and can burn easily. With prompt medical attention, most people recover fully from frostbite. Please don't treat or diagnose frostbite on your own. A doctor must see and be able to feel the affected area and also check for possible hypothermia and dehydration. If you suspect you or a loved one may be suffering from frostbite, call Lincoln Family Medicine at 717-738-0660 or go to the nearest emergency room facility.